Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create and modify a stacked bar chart in Excel 2013. So first off, let's take a look at the finished results to give us ourselves an idea of what we're trying to create here. First off, let's look at the data table in the top left hand corner of the spreadsheet. You can see I've got sales figures for five different territories by quarter for a year. So I've got four columns of data and five rows of regions. Uh, by the way, these data are taken from Microsoft's support.office.com website. And in the middle here, I've got a nice uh, stacked bar chart. Uh, it's done in 3D and we've got some nice colors and nice beveled edges on this chart here in the center. And a chart like this would look great in a presentation or in a report. So let's see how we go about creating this uh, type of chart, which is a stacked bar chart. And you can see the uh, different values uh, in, in the stacks there. And we've got a very good visual representation uh, by quarter uh, for the differences for the different territories. So let's take a look at another worksheet here where I've just got the data on its own. Now the first part to create the stacked bar chart is a relatively straightforward. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to select all the data from, from cell A1 um, and all the data. So I'm selecting all the data including labels because I'd like these labels to appear on my chart. And then I'm going up to the top left here to the insert ribbon, select that. And in the center here we've got our chart options and I'm going to go with the recommended chart options here. You can of course look at some other ones but I'm going to click on recommended charts. And this gives me some alternatives here uh, along the left hand side and you can see the second option here is what looks like a stacked bar chart so we, we select that option and it gives me a preview here in the right hand side as to the type of chart that I want to use. So let's say I'm happy with that and I'm going to click on OK. Now this gives me the start of a chart, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. The start of a chart which is very similar to the one I showed you just a few moments ago. This is in 2D and I'd like to make this into 3D. And I'd also like to make the, um, the uh, stacks on the chart uh, into uh, little beveled objects that you saw. First thing I want to do is uh, learn how I can change this from, in this particular instance here, to, from a view by quarter uh, uh, and views by territory. Here we can see uh, our chart is viewed by territory. So uh, first of all, let me change the chart title and I'm just going to give this a simple name called Sales. And then I'm going to right click on anywhere in, on the chart. I usually go for the top left hand uh, corner here just to avoid clicking on items on the chart. And I'm going to right click here and in the center we've got Change Chart Type. So I'm going to select that option here. And straight away in my Change Chart, chart Type window I've got two options uh, listed here in, this, in the center. I've got the existing chart which I have here which shows my views by territory. But I can also switch this to view my uh, chart by quarter. So let's select that and click on OK. And we can see that now our chart changes so as I can compare my data by quarter instead of by territory and I can change it back again should I choose. The next step to get to my uh, nice 3D bevel chart is to change the actual chart from 2D to 3D. So I'm going again, once again, click on the any area on the, on the chart and change the chart type here again. Um, and this time I'm going to look across the top on the different options. You can see as I move across, um, Excel is showing me different options that are available here. And the one I'm looking for is this 3D stacked column chart, uh, the third option from the right of the sample charts here at the top. So I'm going to select that. And it gives me uh, different options that I'm going to choose here. I'm going to stick again by a quarter and click on OK. And my chart now changes to 3D. So this is starting to look a little bit better. And my final part of this video is just to jazz this up a little bit by uh, changing those um, cubes that are on uh, representing each color uh, to have them in, in a beveled shape. So the first thing to do then is uh, with my left mouse button, I'm going to click on anywhere here, I'm going to click on the, the, the top options. You can see straight away that the Excel selects the top boxes here. And I want to format these uh, so that the, to give them a beveled shape. So right click on, on any one of them that's selected. Choose Format Data Series. And over here in the Format Data Series options, I'm going to go to the Effects option in the center. And this gives me lots of different things that I can do uh, with shadows and low and 3D format and so on. So I'm going to just go down to the 3D format. And I'm going to select the top bevel here. And you can see that there's no bevel selected by default. I'm just going to take a simple one here and select the first bevel here for the top of the box. You can see if you look at the chart that the top of the boxes have been just been rounded. And I'd also like to round the bottom side of them as well. So click on the bottom bevel option and select the same option here again. Select that. 
and you can see that now if I click outside of my boxed area here you can see that the dark blue boxes have turned into nice beveled options to change the rest unfortunately you have to do them uh, one by one so now I'm going to do the same thing again with the uh, yellow or brown options here select select them so as you can see the little select tools on the corners of the boxes go to the top bevel 3d format option on the right hand side and click on bevel the first one you can choose any type you like and go to the bottom bevel and do the same thing and I can see now that my uh, yellow boxes have changed. Now it's a little bit tedious doing this way and Microsoft provides a shortcut where you can uh, format things compared to what has been done previously and this is the control Y option. So when I select the grey boxes here in the centre and uh, press control and hold Y down it will format the next section in the same way as I formatted the previous one. If I select the uh, darker brown options here and do control Y, it will also format that with the same beveled edges. And the, finally, the light blue options at the end, control Y, and it will format those as well. So now I've got um, a slightly nicer looking 3D chart. If I, can, if I switch this from the quarter views um, if by choosing change chart type and going to the regional views, I get the nice same beveled options here. I can resize this chart to anything, any size that I want to do. And a chart like this will look, as I say, a little bit better on presentations. A final touch that you can give it is maybe to give the background a little bit of colour. Uh, choose the, um, over on the right hand side here in the format chart area, choose, a, say, for example, solid fill. Because these are fairly bright colours here, I'm selecting just a nice uh, light colour to go in the background to give my chart a professional looking feel um, and to, in 3D with beveled edges uh, to represent the sales figures provided by Microsoft here. So that's how you create a stacked uh, bar chart in Excel 2013. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.